Hello friends. In this session, I am going to explain what is the mean by revision history and how it will be helpful in real time scenarios. The revision history is nothing but like, see, for example, I have worked on a, I have created one workbook and I published into server. Now with the, some changes, I have replaced the uh, current version with the new version means the old version also will be saved as a revision in the Tableau server side. So that is called as a revision history means, uh, okay uh, okay i will show how we can work with it but see by default uh, for tableau online server by default that uh, revision history will be enabled maximum 10 revisions we can 10 versions we can uh, automatically 10 versions will be saved in tableau online coming to on premises tableau server the server administrator need to enable that revision history option and he can set the limit how many versions you can uh, how many versions uh, we want to save it that server uh, tableau server administrator need to set up for tableau online users automatically uh, they will enable that option and 10 revisions we can save it okay now uh, i am going to show how we can create now for example here you guys can observe here the user the owner is madala krishna user id now what i am going to do is just i am selecting category and sales okay now here okay sheet one okay let it be sheet one now we'll go quickly and publish the workbook to server now i am going to publish this one into a sales folder uh, with the name of uh, revision uh, workbook name i am giving as a revision just click on publish now it's published to server see that revision option we can uh, able to see in server side now you guys can see here i am in uh, it's published okay now i am in sales project and workbook name is revision now if you want to see the revision history that option will be available here we are having a more details these three dots right this is a more actions option if you click here here uh, here revision history option is available once you will click here it will open up one window and here you guys can see here this is the uh, revision option means here you can see revision one current means whichever the latest version you have updated you have published that will become as a current version with the revision number in bracket if you'll see current version that is the latest version okay now you can see publisher is a madala krishna and publisher date is a this one now what i am going to do is just i am going to add uh, one more sheet Le like let me give a filter here uh, let me add a category filter just click ok now i am going to uh show quick filter okay just what i am doing is i am going to sorry i am going to select only furniture and office supplies just i am going i am publishing this one to again to server just click on publish now uh it is asking like if you want to override click yes if you don't want to override click no yes i want to override this one means these are the latest changes as per the client requirement i have done it let's assume so it's published i have published again now you guys can observe here just click here okay one second let's see here now uh, revision history now you guys can observe two revisions revision two is a current one means whichever we have Publish it just now that became now you can see the timestamp publish it date 2 43 a.m okay this is the latest version it will become as a version 2 in bracket current version this is the old version still old version uh say now the publisher is same now i am going to publish with a different user uh, just let me sign out from this user and again i am signing in uh, just sorry
so now uh, with the name of tableau guru i am signing in yes now i signed in now you guys can observe here below of the screen uh, here you guys can observe here tableau guru okay now we will see that name anyhow in the tableau server side so before that i want to show one thing here uh, yeah here now sorry now you guys can observe the workbook uh, owner is a madala krishna you guys can observe here workbook owner is a madala krishna now uh, what i am going to do is just i am going to publish with a different user the tableau guru just publish the workbook now i am going to publish this one it will ask for overwrite yes i am going to overwrite this one yes now you guys can observe here the owner name will be changed now you guys can observe here the owner name is tableau guru okay now okay that is fine now what i am going to is just i am going to check the revision history again now you guys can see the latest version whichever we have updated this is the latest version and the publisher is a different person and we are having two different persons here the latest version is published by this person tableau guru and published date is 2:45 am okay now okay now this is a revision history uh, means uh, how it is storing the uh, revisions you guys uh, now very clear now what we can do with the revision history see for example for current versions you cannot do any uh, thing for previous versions we have a option called more actions here three dots is there right just if you click on it we have a three options preview delete download what is the mean by preview see if you'll preview means uh, it will display in second version what we have done we have added one filter okay in filter we have selected two now i have clicked on preview see once you will click on preview what will happen is it will open up a uh, one new window in that window it will show the preview of review revision 2 now you guys can see here with uh, two uh, category with the filter category filter automatically furniture and office supply selected this is the second version okay now uh, close this preview see for example if you want to delete this version just click on it just click on delete see once you have deleted means this version you cannot download it from server and you cannot retrieve it back it is deleted now <clears throat> for example we are having one more option download if you want to download you can download the earlier uh, versions uh, previous versions means without changes without latest changes for example you have done some changes uh, that client doesn't require that one but you forgot to uh, save the uh, old version then you can take it from server you can retrieve it from server now what i'm going to do is just uh, I am going to replace this starting version with the current version. Now, once you'll click here in the bottom side, you can you guys can observe here cancel and restore. Cancel means we can close the window. If you'll click on restore, automatically we can uh, get a new version. Now you guys can see this workbook has been restored to previous version. You guys can see this message information. This workbook has been restored to a previous version. Now, if you'll see here uh, revision history. Now you guys can see revision for current version. Okay, this way uh, we can play with the revision history. And this is a, see, and one more thing guys here, this revision history is available for workbooks as well as for data sources also. Just I have shown for workbooks, for data sources also, this is the same process now. Okay, let me show you for one day, yeah, here we have a data source. Now if you'll go here, we have an option called revision history. Now you guys, sorry, uh, this is for both, right? This is not published data source, okay. Let's go to any other uh, published, okay. This is embedded data source, okay. Let me go to any other data sources which I have. Yes, let me see. Yeah, revision history, let's go here. Now you guys can able to see the revision history for this. 
okay see guys for data sources and for workbooks we can see the revision history okay uh, this is uh, same process for both uh, workbooks as well as for data sources thank you guys thanks for watching my video and please subscribe my channel for more videos and for uh, more interesting things thank you don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel